This is a tutorial for how to adapt a battery operated toy using a switch. These are the materials you will need. Pliers, wire cutters, wire strippers, heat shrink, a tie, two wires, solder, and a soldering iron as well as a 1 8 inch mono power inline jack. The first step is to locate the wires inside the toy. Feel around near the switch and you should feel two wires. I used a seam ripper to open up the toy and pull the wires to the surface. The first step is to use wire strippers and very gently strip the wire of the insulation without cutting through the wire. We'll then solder a separate wire to the wire inside the toy. This is what it will look like. I will strip the end of this wire This can be tricky, and it's okay if you cut through the wire on the toy when you're stripping this. You can always solder all three separate wires together. I'm going to wrap the new wire around the wire in the toy. and trim off any excess wire. Next, I will put a little bit of solder to adhere both wires together. Wait a few seconds until this cools and tug to make sure the wire is secure. For tips on stripping wires and soldering, take a look at our website. So this is now secure, and I did the exact same thing to this other wire. I will now strip the other end. The next step will be adhering the wires to our mono jack. But before we do that, I put the heat shrink on. followed by part of the mono jack. That way, once these are adhered, we can close them. I'll put one wire through each hole with this heat shrink coming through the center hole. If I solder the wire on the outside, when I go to close the jack, there will not be enough room. So the wire needs to be inside these holders.
I'm now going to solder the first wire to the jack. now solder the second wire into the hole. Let it cool and give it a tug. Now that both wires are securely on the jack, it's time to test our switch. I'm going to hold the tip and twist the body to make sure not to twist any wires. Then plugging one of our dollar switches into the jack. And our toy works. I'm going to crimp the area right here to secure the wire. And then using either a solder iron or a heat gun along the heat shrink to further secure the wires. Next, I'm going to take the tie and wrap it around the leg. Anywhere close to where the wire is coming out. I'm then going to wrap the wire around the tie one time. And pull the tie as tightly as it will go. This will stop the wire from becoming loose when this is pulled. The next step is just cutting off the excess tie and sewing up the opening you made to find the wires and you have a finished toy.